really winter now in Chicago. We are here. We are here. Okay. I want you to tell me some things that you're required or you have to do in your house. Tell me some things that you have to do. What do you have to do, Henry? Go to bed. Go to bed. Good one. What else? Calissa, what do you got? I have to breathe live. You, you have to breathe? And live. Oh, good. That, those are two very important things. Very important. Charlie? Play video games? You have to play video games. Is that on the list of what your parents want you to do? Yes. I bet not. <laughs> well, that is a good point. Did you hear what he said? He keeps me out of my parents' hair for a couple hours. <laughs> so maybe that is on their list. Does anybody have another chore like they have to wash the dishes, they have to take out the garbage? You girls are living the cake life here. <laughs> Oh, your ass on what load the dishwasher. Okay, how about what things your teachers require of you? What do they require, Henry? Do not fall asleep during school. Good one. Not fall asleep during school. That makes the teacher feel bad. Um, to pay attention. Pay attention. Clean up your mess. Clean up your mess from your desk. Yes, Charlie. Do not wear a hat. No, not wear hats in school. That is a rule. You're right. To... Pay attention and get good, 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 good. All good things, all good things. Well, in our scripture today, that comes from Micah, which is in the Old Testament here in the back of the Bible here, towards the end. We're talking, there's a list in there of things that God requires of us. It's just three pretty simple rules, but not always simple to act out. So the first one is, is to act justly. Justly is kind of a hard word. Not for you three girls, but what do you think it means? What does he think it means? Justly. Justly means justly. Well, yeah. It means to act with justice. It means to act with justice. I like that. That's right. So it would be like that everyone should have the same rules, right? No matter if you're a man, a woman, a kid, a child, an adult, white, black, whatever. You all have the same rules. Because it would be like, let's say you go over to play a game at one of your friend's house, and you're playing a card game, and they say, when I win the round, I get 100 points. But Henry, when you win the round, you get 10 points. <laughs> not fair. That is not acting justly. So the Lord requires us to act justly to treat everyone the same, no matter what. So the second rule on the list is to have love and kindness. Now that's pretty obvious. What, do you, what does that mean? What does that mean? Does that, what does that mean, Charlie? It, well, you forgot. Okay. What does it mean, Lisa? To give your sister 16 hugs a day. Oh, I love that. 16 hugs a day. Awesome. It means to give everybody those 16 hugs a day. Yeah, that is awesome. It means that we should treat each other with kindness. Now, it sounds simple. Is that easy? So. Oh, right, right. And you're not, so it's perfect, right? She's giving her the sister stare. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. And the last one is to walk humbly with my God. Now, humbly is kind of a hard word in this. What, is, what do you think that means? Come on, girls. Charlie got one? It, it means that we recognize that God is with us all the time. From the moment we wake up in the morning to when we go to sleep and watching over us the whole time we're sleeping, but we realize that we don't know everything, and God does. So we recognize that we aren't God. We don't know all the answers. We don't know exactly what to do, and that's why we have God walking with us. So what does the Lord require of us? To be just, to be fair, to be kind, and to be with God. Let us pray. Dear God, a simple list. 
not so easy to bring about. Help us to follow those rules to be kind, be loving, be fair, and to walk with you. Amen.